In this video, we're going to install Android Studio, which is the official IDE for building Android apps. And to find it, you can Google Download Android Studio and click on the link that says Download Android Studio and SDK Tools. And on this URL right here, developer.android.com slash studio slash index.html, you will find the download link for the Android Studio IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. So to install it, first you need to download the file, accept the terms and conditions, and click Download Android Studio for Windows or for Mac if you're using a MacBook. I'm going to save the file to my Downloads folder. This is going to take a few moments, so I'm going to fast forward right to the installation part. After Android Studio completed downloading, I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, and there it is. And to install Android Studio, simply just double click on the file you just downloaded. This will start the installation wizard, and when it's complete, you should have Android Studio running on your computer. When you get to the Welcome to Android Studio Setup screen, click on Next. Which components do you want? Leave all the default checkboxes and click Next. We want to make sure that we definitely install the Android Virtual Device. This will allow us to test our apps on an emulator. This is the location of where it's going to install Android Studio in the program file slash Android slash Android Studio. I'm going to leave the default and click Next. Start menu folder is fine with me, Android Studio. Click install, and then this process may take a while, so I'm going to fast forward through it and we'll continue. So, installation completed, and click on next. So, Android Studio setup completed, and it's giving me the option to start Android Studio. You can watch a different video of mine on where we start up Android Studio and also run the Hello World app. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a desktop icon for Android Studio because it looks like it didn't create one for me. So what you could do is click Finish and go to your program files and look for Android Studio. Right click on it, select More, Open File Location. This will show you the folder of where that shortcut is located. And you can right click on it and say send to desktop. There it is. So now I have a desktop icon for Android Studio and to start it up you can double click that and Android Studio should start. And to complete installation it's going to ask you if you want to import settings from a previous version. I previously had 2.3 installed but I don't want to import anything so I'm going to select that and start Start fresh with Android 3.0. Also, by the way, Android Studio is powered by IntelliJ. It's the IDE that Android Studio is built upon, which includes all the tools and plugins you'll need for completely building an Android app. Welcome to Android Studio Setup Wizard. Let's select Next. The install type, select Standard. Select the user interface theme. I kind of like the white background personally, but a lot of people like the dark background with the, with the white text. So I'm going to leave the IntelliJ theme selected and click Next. So verify your settings and then click Finish. It's going to download any missing components that Android Studio needs to run. So this may take a while, so I'm going to fast forward through this and we'll continue to the next step. And just when it's done, click Finish. And when you get to the Welcome to Android Studio screen, then you're all set. Android Studio has been successfully installed. So watch my next video on building the Hello World app. Thanks for watching.